poem with a big payoff. Um, <laughs> Sasha Alexander is the next reader. Sasha Alexander, um, yeah, woo, uh, is, if I can just make my phone stay in place, um, a transracially adopted, mixed, ra mixed race, black South Asian, educator, facilitator, multimedia artist, healer, and community organizer. Sasha is the founder of Black Transmedia, a project addressing the intersections of racism and transphobia by amplifying the narratives of black trans people, creating media, arts, organizing for justice. Sasha's pronouns are he, she, they, and you should mix it up. Sasha! So, hi everybody. I recognize some folks. Um, though I speak in front of people and um, facilitate a lot, I actually have never read my poetry out loud. So, I am honored to be in the space with you all as I share um, one poem that I put in the zine and a brand new poem that I'm working on. And I'm very nervous to share. Um, and ideally, it'll be actually um, co-read by me and my wife, Olivia, who we just met, who read. But because I just wrote it, it's just coming from me. Woo. So, excuse me if I get all nervous up here. Um, um, okay, so this piece is called 35. How old are you? I know it's true. I'm not supposed to ask. I'm almost 29 myself. I just need to know how long we have to last. My wife and I are black and trans. Nights we've held and cried. It she'll be taken for defending herself or arrested by the state if tried. Detained in the 79th, arms held behind your back, held 24 hours in the cell. A young girl we knew died in this place just last week. This is the place my love was held. It was one in three, three-fifths a person, 35 if you do the math. Within 50 days, more than 15 deaths, 35 is no longer the average age. 35 is no longer the math. I'm 28, my wife's 24, 35 seconds every day before I walk out the door. I know we both wonder and it brings us to tears. Sometimes we say it out loud. Sometimes we hold it in fear that her name will be Islan, Milan, and Duana, that I am Kai Peterson, Samaya, and Cece McDonald. Four walls can't protect us from something built into the fabric. Can you imagine not being able to leave your house without threats, fearing for your children and family? 35 is the average age based on the rate for a black trans woman's life. I'm scared we only have 10 years left. Afraid they'll take my wife, afraid of the beating in my chest. The threat is real, every day, based on the train, in stores, at work, on blocks, we have the power to change this. We have the power to stop. 35 is just a moment. Welcome 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95. Now do the math. In the 35 seconds that just passed, we can increase our lives, and I'll be proud if you ask, how old are you? both reading it and just sharing it out loud because it's something that you just hold because you all know you used to work and stuff. So I wasn't going to read the second piece, but I just have wanted to be more brave with sharing my work and have been so honored to hear other trans poets share their work and feel like I need to step up and be here in front and share my work. So this is the piece, it's um, like all pieces, very personal, <laughs> um, but I put it in the zine and I wasn't planning on reading it, but um, I want to share it. And in the, in the zine it says, this was written after a very black trans visit to Callan Lord in January a few years ago when I was sick with what turned out to be walking pneumonia, but they told me I was HIV positive or pregnant. And this piece is called Drowning, and this is kind of a long piece. And I've never read this one out loud either, so please bear with me. Thank you. <laughs> I had a dream last night that I was swimming in the ocean, diving in and out of the waves. 
I felt a call to swim against the current, and my body powered into motion. Legs kicking, arms pushing, I was propelled. I dove down to kiss the sweet water, and as I sprung up to the surface, I couldn't reach top. Weighing as rocks, a net trapped me under. I struggled for a moment. I tried to swim away from the pen that demanded my body not receive breath. I tried to swim away from the net. With all the hope in my heart, I believed I would find a place to return to air. I struggled swimming till it all disappeared. I woke up in a moan, breathing and crying, a pain that I felt in my tissues and fibers. I am scared by my visions and the, the glands I neglected. I hold and I carry a sea and a net, deep under the weight of all I tried to forget. I try not to let go, I try not to be dead. In aching and pains, fevers and sweat, sharp swelling and redness, not knowing regret. As a young woman, my body was left devoured by monsters, by my own and the systems, many and haunted. I am under the covers, crying alone, chanting to mother and my ancient one's wisdom, hidden in the fold of the skin that they say makes a woman. Wasting alone, wanting and wondering, I'm falling apart at the seams, drowning in decisions when the doctor came in and told me it was either pregnancy or HIV. And now I'm asked what's the worst. I said it, I said it was a mystery, can't be. It's the money that I don't have, the energy that I must expel, this healthcare where no one cares. And now I'm saying out loud that our bodies are stories of all that we've been through and what's still left to journey. I need wise women's healings, community driven, community driven liberation and living, and for my body to be back, to feel mine and not gone. Returning to myself is like finding my home. Like the oceans I swim in that's covered in nets. It's the brick wall I imagine the names I never knew that I never chose to forget. In the eyes of my mother, the night her rape took place, she gave me life beneath the waves. The swelling in my vulva from too much sex, not safe, not well managed. I am now at the point where I must help, ask for help and be honest. I'm drowning in a sea in a net, caught fighting for my life in the systematic bed. In the conditioning that I'm living in, taught me I am nothing. Made me think that my death is just another word to mention. Another black body, another trans person, misgendered and unknown once I'm gone from the world. And what's worse, I'm still here, drowning while knowing that justice is the river where the net was laid over. And even with the knowledge and the love, we can still get lost beneath the waves and the power. In a place I once breathed, now I'm lost in a dream. Waking and beating my heart like a drum, I danced in the water to the rhythms they sung. I touched each part of my body to remember I'd won, that I'm mine and no man's, I'm no one.